Alright, thank you for turning in to my YouTube channel, Professor Wag. Today I want to tell you how laws are made. I'm not just going to talk about what's written in the Constitution, but the actual process in this day and age for how they make laws. And I'm going to lead you through it step by step. To start, um, we have the legislative branch, the Congress, which is, consists of the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate. Either chamber can initiate the process. It's usually done from the House, however. And here's how it's done in the House. You start by a member of the House can place it in the hopper. That is, think of it like they write a little suggestion card and they drop it in a suggestion box. Then the Speaker of the House, and that is currently John Boehner as I record this, he will pull it out and look at it and he will assign a committee to it. The committees are in charge of drawing up all the details, hammering out every little thing, and they probably do a lot of negotiating in the process. They feel out the members of the House and even the members of the Senate and try to figure out how to get enough votes to pass it. Once it goes to these committees, it comes to the House floor for debate. Now, if you are an opponent of the bill, and you're sitting on one of these committees, you might try to slow the bill down. You might try to obstruct it. You want to keep the negotiation going as long as you can. You might propose some wacky amendments. Maybe, uh, for example, to that health care bill, there was a proposal for no federal funding for Viagra for sex offenders. Great idea. Um, seriously, that was just an obstructionist tactic. I don't believe there's any federal funding for Viagra for sex offenders anyway. But the point is you might try to tie it up as long as you can. That's what opponents of bills typically do. If that happens in the House, it can be stopped by a discharge petition. I mean, the obstruction can be stopped. A discharge petition requires the signature of 218 members of the House. 218 just happens to be a simple majority because there are 435 members total. So if you get those 218 signatures, you have a discharge petition. It comes out of committee and goes on the floor for debate. Once it's on the floor for debate, and I'm hoping my kitty cat doesn't obstruct this video right now. Uh, she must be against this bill. I don't know. Ah, there she is. Um, so if it gets on the floor for debate, then every member of the House may debate it for up to an hour and no more. If you try to talk any more than an hour, the Speaker, currently John Boehner, will bang his gavel and say, your time is up. Try to talk again, you'll bang it again, your time is up. You better get off the floor because you've had your hour. Now, you can use the whole hour if you want. You can yield your time back. You can also yield your time to a colleague, give them more time to speak. If you're in favor of the bill and you've already got the votes needed to pass it, you probably won't use your hour. You'll just support it, give it the thumbs up, and yield back your time because you want to hurry up and vote on it. If you're against the bill, though, you might try to tie it up as long as you can. You'll definitely use your whole hour. You might use it all yourself. You might stand up there and talk about why you're against the bill. You might start reading from the Bible and talk about how America needs to get back to Jesus. Yes, I have seen it done many times. But you're going to hold it up as much as you can, but you only have an hour. Once your hour is up, that's it. So in the House of Representatives, Every bill, as long as it has a majority, it will get through the House. You really can't stop it. You can only slow it down. Once it gets through the House, though, then it has to go to the Senate. Oh, oh yeah, one more important detail in the House. You need only a simple majority to pass it. If everyone votes, that means 218 votes. If not everyone votes, then you need a majority of whoever votes. If there is a tie, however, it fails in the House. I mean, they can try to vote on it again later, but it cannot pass with a tie because a tie is not a majority. 